On January 15, 2022, the Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai volcano violently exploded in a blast equivalent in energy to the detonation of 6 megatons of TNT. During the initial seconds of the explosion, a large area in the center of the island slid into the sea and a massive landslide generating a destructive tsunami with initial wave heights of up to 15 meters or 49 feet. This tsunami would go on to hit the entire Pacific Ocean, causing damage as far away as Peru. The powerful shockwave created by the eruption was so loud that it was heard more than 5,800 miles distant in the city of Fairbanks, Alaska. Several of my viewers even sent me emails reporting that they had heard the blast in northern Yukon. After the tallest eruption plume in recorded history cleared, reaching 58 kilometers or 190,000 feet in height, what remained was a fraction of the former volcano. What used to be one large island was now two distant small islands representing the core of two ancient vents. In the days after the eruption, preliminary data suggested that about half a cubic kilometer of material was ejected in a FEI-4 event. This figure was largely estimated by both the amount of ash which fell compared to known historical eruptions and by measuring the amount of sulfur dioxide which was released. It is now three months later, and since then several scientific papers have been published which have made differing but more thorough claims about the size of the eruption which occurred. One of these papers recently made the rounds on various scientific publications with a claim that the eruption had a volcanic explosivity index of a 6. For context, the volcanic explosivity index is a scale that goes from 0 to 8. With a small exception on the lower end of the scale, each increase in number indicates that an eruption is 10 times larger. For example, the 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens ejected 1 cubic kilometer of material and thus was rated on the scale as a 5. The 1991 eruption of Pinatubo ejected 13 cubic kilometers of volcanic rock and since it was slightly more than 10 times larger than the aforementioned eruption was rated as a 6. Eruptions that rate higher than a 5 are rare, as one such eruption only occurs an average of every 12 years. Eruptions designated as a VEI-6 are even rarer, as they occur about once every 75 years. Thus, the claim that the eruption of Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai is a 6 must initially be taken with skepticism, as such eruptions are absurdly rare. This claim was made in a paper written by Poli and Shapiro which proposed a novel method to estimate the size of Hunga Tonga's eruption. The paper used recorded seismic waves from the eruption to determine the amount of energy expended as well as eruption duration and the velocity of material which was ejected. With a few assumptions, this data suggested that 10 cubic kilometers of material were erupted indicating a volcanic explosivity index of a 6. Their method is promising, but there are some problems with their extrapolation for this volcano. While the main eruption duration was measured in the paper at 100 minutes, the authors assumed the volcanic material was ejected at the same velocity during the entire duration. Observations of the eruption show that continuous eruptive activity only lasted for 10 minutes, after which only smaller scale eruptive activity occurred interspersed with lengthy periods of where next to nothing erupted. This model thus overestimates the volume of ejecta by as much as a factor of 10. While this method is definitely intriguing, it makes assumptions of constant velocity ejecta over the entire eruption duration which simplified the math but doesn't reflect the reality of what was witnessed. Their model needs to take into account the rather burpy nature of eruptions and be fine-tuned by applying it to more eruptions with already known VEIs to better predict the size of future eruptions. In conclusion, observations still point towards the eruption being a mid-end VEI-4, but this is science and more data may yet prove me wrong. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank my new patron Joe Malin for supporting this channel.